Hey, praise the Lord. And thank you very much for being so faithful in just being a very faithful uh, follower of our programs and always tuning in to listen to our broadcast. And particularly this great series we are running, Understanding the Will of God. And we have run quite a number of series, so many classes right now for over one month. And we have just begun another subtopic called Understanding the Will of God in regard to your finances and material prosperity. So we learn that it is in the will of God for you to enjoy prosperity, material prosperity, and the goodness of God. Now, as I said in the very first class on this subject, we do have two extremes. That those people who think poverty is holiness, poverty is the mark of humility. This is a lie. And there are those people who believe and the only thing they do is teach on prosperity, prosperity, prosperity. That is half-baked truth. And particularly many people teach on prosperity for selfish purposes, not to enable the people of God understand that God in his manifold wisdom desired for us to be fruitful so that we may be a blessing to other people. To be honest, I don't find anything good in poverty. Poverty is a big is a big problem. I grew up in poverty and I know what poverty is. There is no way I can glorify poverty. It is a terrible thing. It denies you the opportunity to be a blessing. And I've always used the story of the good Samaritan. The good Samaritan is not a good Samaritan because he had compassion alone. On top of compassion, he had material prosperity that was available at his disposal to help that guy. He did not just pick him from the roadside, but he also took him to an inn and paid for his medical accommodation and everything. So poverty does not give you the opportunity to become a good Samaritan to many of you of the people, people in need. I have um, been paying school fees for orphan children. And uh, I, every time I pay school fees for them, I ask myself, what if we did not have money to help these children? And there are so many families that have come to know the Lord Jesus Christ just because of that act of mercy, which is demonstrated by us putting hands in our pockets and blessing these children. So if you are this kind of person that had magnified poverty and made poverty look like holiness, you rather rethink. And the only thing that you need to do is give up that thing because you will not be productive in ministry with poverty. You can't. You will not travel to preach the gospel. You will not do anything to support the gospel. It will be difficult for you. So I pray that you may see the prosperity of God in your lives. Let us look at Psalm chapter 1 and verse 3. <clears throat> this is what the Bible says. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Now, this is a person who delights in the law of God. And in the law of God, he meditates day and night. If your delight is in the word of God and you meditate in the word of God, the Bible says that you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, which brings forth its fruit in its season. So there is a season of fruitfulness in your life. And the Bible says, and his leaf does not wither. 
and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. That beautiful word, prosper. It means everything that you do will succeed. Who is this man that begins business and does not expect that business to succeed? Who is this man that will become a father and does not want his children to succeed or his grandchildren to succeed? There is no such a father. And if you think failure, because failure brings poverty, and God never created you to be a man of failure. He wanted you to be a man of success because he says, if you will meditate in the word of God um, and um, observe to do what the word of God tells you daily, God says that he will make sure that you will look like a tree planted by the river of water, rivers of water and that whatsoever thing you do it shall prosper. That is the promise of God. And the one who is promising is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he a son of man that he should change his mind. If he promises, he does it. And this is what he's promising you. So meditate in the word of God. Put your mind in the word of God. Because from the word of God cometh life and blessings. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for my brothers and sisters. Thank you, Lord, for granting them the opportunity to sit at your feet to learn from you. And particularly today, that you desire for each one of us to prosper in everything that we do. And now today, Lord, we have learned from your word that if we meditate in the word of God day and night, we shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water which produces its fruit in its season. And whatsoever thing we do prospers and our leave will never wither. So Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you help each one of us to study the word of God concerning the will of God for us in the area of material and financial prosperity and wellness. God, I pray in Jesus' name, help your children cite the scriptures to understand what the scripture says about money, about money, about material prosperity, that your children may walk in the fullness of the blessings of God. I pray that God, you may open floodgates of financial uh, release in my life because God, I want to be a blessing to many nations. God, I want to see more orphans taken, taken to school. I want to see more widows, you know, having houses built for them. I want to see more people that are oppressed of the devil, of hunger and of starvation, given the opportunity to live a life of dignity. And God, I want to bless people, teach them ideas from the word of God on how to create wealth. So I pray that God, you bless my life. Let the work of my hands, so Lord, everything that I have laid my hand upon, let it prosper. That God, it may be a testimony that you are true to your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Spiritual nourishment. Click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video. Thank you and see you in our next broadcast.